this morning I'm taking care of my video, <laughs> checking new growths and spikes. Some flowers are already opening, so let's do an update and see how they are doing. This white one has uh, flowers with an unusual shape. They are bell-shaped, they never open widely, but uh, that is a trait shared by some symbidium, although not very common. This plant has only two spikes. Not all flowers are open yet. The stormy wind we had a few weeks ago managed to break the top flower here when it was still in bud. The flowers are quite large in size and they are slightly fragrant. At the same time they are uh, flowering, this orchid is producing several new growths. There is one right in the middle of the plant, as you can see here. Another one in the back there. And another one here. And still here. The plant is quite bushy, but many of these growths will flower only next year. Over this side I have three cymbidium. Let's start with this one. The flowers on this spike opened about uh, one month ago, more exactly on October 10th and uh, they last uh, quite a long time. This year this plant only gave me one spike, but I was kind of expecting something like that, because last year I got 12 spikes from her, with 10 to 14 flowers on each spike. She did not push as many new growths this year, and as you can see, there are lots of old pseudobulbs in the center of the plant. They must be removed, so um, she's due to a repotting in the beginning of next year. The flowers are quite beautiful and uh, they are not fragrant, these ones. Next plant has uh, four spikes with 10 to 12 buds. None of them open yet, but it's uh, very beautiful. Uh, now on the screen you can see the plant in bloom last year when she gave me 10 spikes. Soon we will be able to see the flowers. They are alabaster white and very beautiful. This one here, oh this one, this is my favorite. I love the solid plain yellow, <laughs> different feature from the common ones. And she's also very fragrant. Mmm, smells so nice, although only one spike is uh, starting to open its flowers. But look how many spikes she has. I counted 13 so far. I hope they will open soon and I'm longing to see all of them open at the same time. And still she grew several new growths while forming these buds. I had to stake them. Now that the spikes on this symbidium are getting taller, I had to place some taller stakes 
on on them. I would prefer to let them grow naturally, but uh, in this case I have to do it because they might uh, break with the wind. Also uh, by the dogs running through or even by people as uh, we pass by. I have three more symbionts on uh, this side of the porch. This one is the less vigorous in my opinion. Uh, it's less vigorous than the others. Maybe because uh, those old pseudobulbs need to be removed. So another repotting to be done after flowering. This plant has uh, two spikes, which anyway is one more than last year. But this plant is a long way from blooming. The spikes are quite late. They are still small at this stage, as you can see here. This one is a little bit bigger. This is the Simbidio I bought end of September this year. I just cut off his spike. But uh, you can see the uh, photo of the yellow flowers on the screen now. This looks like a good plant and uh, she's growing some new growths. She's fragrant too. This is the last one. The color of the flowers is pink like the inserted photo on the screen. She has two spikes. On this one the buds are already visible. This is the second spike, but the buds are still inside the main sheath. This plant produced uh, several new growths, which will probably bloom next year. From my personal experience with these orchids, I learned that they produce new growths at any time of the year. Mine do it all year round. They can also grow flower spikes and new pseudobulbs at the same time. And I believe that the new shoots only generate flowers the next year. This is all for today. Hope you have enjoyed it. And I'll be seeing you in the next video. Bye for now.